Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a video showing how you can test for the presence of a starch or maltodextrin in a product or ingredient by using iodine. I'm using this iodine tincture from Walgreens. Now, the reason I did that video was because there's been some controversy about the inclusion of maltodextrin in certain electrolyte drink mixes, even though it's not listed in the ingredients. Now, a little bit of background information. First off, the USDA does allow companies to include maltodextrin under the heading natural flavors if it's less than half a gram. Now, this may not matter to most people. I mean, maltodextrin is generally used either as an anti-caking agent, a bulking agent, or a flavor character. Character? Carrier. And for most people who are metabolically healthy, that amount isn't really a big deal. But if you are a diabetic or if you have an allergy to maltodextrin, it can be a very big deal. In fact, it can even lead to anaphylaxis, which is a condition, a life-threatening condition, that will require a trip to the emergency room if you have a severe maltodextrin allergy. So in this video, I will be testing out 12 different electrolyte powders, as well as a few ingredients, I think five, that you may use if you're creating your own electrolyte drink mix. In the previous video, which was my first time doing this experiment, I used a lot of iodine. In fact, way more than is necessary. Really, only a couple of drops is all that you need to detect the presence of a starch or maltodextrin. If there is no starch or maltodextrin in a product, the water should be pretty much clear. However, if there is a starch or maltodextrin, it's going to turn sort of a dark purple color. So in front of me, I have 13 glasses of water, 12 for the electrolytes, and one that will be my sort of baseline or test, just plain water with iodine. In each of these glasses, I have about 12 ounces of water. I filled it up to the same line on each of the glasses to be consistent. For each of my samples, I emptied a packet or one serving of electrolyte mix in. I did not stir, I just let it sort of naturally dissolve. So I'm gonna start with the baseline right here. This is just plain tap water, one, two, and you can see pretty much just disappears. The first electrolyte mix I'm gonna test out is the Athlete or Athlite Lemon Lime. It does not list maltodextrin on the ingredients and they have said specifically on the internet in their ads, does not contain sugar or maltodextrin. And you can see we've got that sort of purplish brown color going. I'll add a couple more just so you can see. That would indicate that this probably does contain maltodextrin. Next up, we have Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder. This is just the lemonade flavor. This product does not list maltodextrin, and Dr. Berg has said specifically that it does not contain maltodextrin. And that did not turn purple. Just sort of dissipated, a little bit yellow, kind of the color of iodine. Next up, I have Drip Drop, peach flavored. Now this does list maltodextrin on the ingredients. They don't claim that it doesn't have maltodextrin. They just say zero sugar and keto friendly. And you can see, we did get that purple color. So they said it contains maltodextrin and it does. Next up, I have the Gatorade Zero. This, again, lists maltodextrin as one of the ingredients. And you can see we got the color change. Liquid IV, sugar-free, it does not list maltodextrin. Bit of a color change, not as pronounced as a couple of the others but it does appear that this has some small amount of maltodextrin. Next we have Element, and this is the brand of electrolyte drink that kind of started this whole maltodextrin conversation. They claimed no maltodextrin, then they claimed a small amount of maltodextrin, and eventually they admitted that there is up to half a gram of maltodextrin, but that is because it's included or was included by the company that they source their natural flavors from. Oops, that was an accidental drop, but still counts. You can see the color change. Same as my previous video. Next is Ozenki. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Sugar-free, 
does not list maltodextrin in the ingredients. Whoa, that is very, very purple right there. Next up, we have the daily electrolytes from Perfect Keto. And I reached out to Justin, the CEO of Perfect Keto, and said, hey, all this electrolyte stuff going on, you should uh, probably get out in front of this if you've got maltodextrin in your product. And he said they do have maltodextrin in the product, though it is not listed on the, uh, on the container. Justin told me that the maltodextrin that they use is a non-GMO tapioca maltodextrin. So we should see a color change here. And sure enough, there it is. Next up is the salt tea brand from Keto Chow. This is the Mondo Melon flavor. And they claim no maltodextrin. They use acacia gum. And you can see it's just sort of dissipating. I've got that light brown iodine color. Next is the Squincher, I think is what it's called. It's the lemon lime flavor. They do list maltodextrin in the ingredients, so we should see a color change here. Sure enough, turning purple, then kind of dissipating in the green. It's not as purple as some of the others, so probably a little bit less in the way of maltodextrin. Then we have the Ultima. This does not list maltodextrin in the ingredients. Um, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna say that looks good. And finally, we have the Zero Light brand. They do not list maltodextrin in the ingredients. And you can see the color change there. Now, an important point to make, for any of these brands, if they have an unflavored version of their electrolytes, that should not, and I would be willing to bet, does not contain maltodextrin. Next, I'm going to try out a few products that are not electrolyte drinks, but three of them are ones that you may be using to flavor your own electrolytes if you're making them by yourself. Plus, then we've got a Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade and then the Calm Magnesium Supplement. For each of these true products, so the True Orange, True Lime, and True Lemon, the ingredients are crystallized orange, crystallized lime, crystallized lemon. It does not list maltodextrin. That uh, isn't completely clear, but very close. Hmm. So possibly a very small amount of maltodextrin, or maybe it's just reacting with the citric acid. Now the lime. Hmm. That is looking a lot more like something's going on, like there's some maltodextrin in it. Then the lemon. Hmm. Yeah, there appears to be something going on there as well. Next, the Crystal Light. This may be more difficult to see since it's already a little bit purple. They do, however, list maltodextrin as an ingredient, so we should see something get darker here. Uh, it's really hard to tell. I don't even know if that's going to show up on camera. It's a little darker, but it lists maltodextrin on the ingredients, so we already know. Finally, we have the Calm Magnesium Supplement. Hmm. Now there's some foam on the top because the magnesium does foam a little bit. If you can see underneath it though, we definitely, there I squirted a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. You can definitely see the purple there. One thing I want to be really clear about in terms of this test is I did not do this to throw any company under the bus. All I was doing was just objectively showing. My goal here is I would love to see companies be more transparent about the ingredients that they have in their products, including something like maltodextrin. If we know, then we can make a decision accordingly. Now, whether companies decide to do this voluntarily and be transparent, or whether we need to see some sort of a change in the USDA's labeling laws, I just want it to happen. 
This is probably going to be my last maltodextrin testing video. Now that you know how to do it, you can do it yourself. And while I did mention at the beginning I used the Walgreens brand iodine tincture, this is for external use only, you can use ones that are consumable for internal use. I think the big brand, the popular brand is Lugol's, I think is the name of it. But I've had viewers tell me that they've used that and seen the same results. So I will link to that down below in the description if you'd like to pick that up on Amazon or just head to your local Walgreens or CVS or whatever pharmacy and get yourself some iodine. You can do the tests yourself. And if you do test some of the things that I haven't tried out here, please feel free to leave a comment down below letting us know what product it was and what the results were, either good or bad. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it entertaining or interesting, or maybe even both. If you did, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. I think that's it. Thanks for watching.